Hey, what's happening, YouTube? Rajay back to take a look at another beer. I'm going to take a look at another one from here in Cincinnati. Again, this comes from Christian Moorline. This is their Zeppelin Bavarian style pale ale. It's actually listed as an American pale ale. Comes in at 5.2% ABV and also 30 IBU. As if you've seen the other videos, you know that Christian Moorline, as I just mentioned, out of Cincinnati, they like to put some good information on their bottle, so I'll break that down real quick. Zeppelin. You've made a discovery, a German-inspired pale ale lifted by creativity and crafted for the lofty flight of a Zeppelin. Christian Morline Zeppelin Bavarian Pale Ale showcases the characteristics of traditional pales, enhanced by the distinctive flavors and aromas of German noble hops. Pilsner and Munich malts provide a significant backbone, backbone <laughs> balanced by a delicate floral and fruity notes from a late kettle hop addition and dry hopping. The result makes this Zeppelin constantly smooth and balanced in flight. So let's go ahead and get this open and get it into a glass and see what it tastes like. So there we go. We get it into the glass. Now this one actually pours out a pretty decent sized head. Uh, it's actually about three to four finger, I believe. So a little bit larger than some of the other beers from Moreline have poured out. It also has a little bit more of a cloudiness on there. Uh, I'm going to say it's more like a chill haze, but I do have some clarity. And you can actually see, I think, through there to see me as well. The color of it, nice golden straw color. Pretty good amount of lively carbonation taking place. As far as anything else with the head, the head has a little bit of a sudsy characteristic on it. Um, some nice tight bubbles in there and everything else looks kind of decent. So it looks like this chill haze may calm down a little bit. So let's see what happens there as far as the aroma. Wow. So it's definitely has the characteristics of an American pale ale. You get some of the citrus coming out from the hops. You also get some of that pine that you uh, and the earthiness that you would expect to have from the hops. A little bit of a sour smell in there. Um, a little bit of a dankness in there as well. But you're definitely getting some of the malt. So you do get some of that backbone. You do pick up some of that balance in there. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this one actually tastes. I think I've had this before, but it's definitely been a while probably a few years at that but on the fruit from the aroma is definitely more of a grapefruit scent that you're getting out and that sourness adds a little bit of a, a funkiness type quality let's go ahead and check the taste taste isn't too bad it has a little bit of a a tartness on the tongue i would call it bitterness again to the tip of the tongue uh, crisp and refreshing on the back end now nice break uh, not too watery at all i thought it might be at a 5.2 percent abv but Nothing of a watery texture on this one. It sits very well on the palate. The carbonation is perfect. Nothing wrong with that along those lines. As far as the um, duration of the flavor, you get a pretty good average duration off of it. As far as the mouthfeel, I would consider this to be more of a, for me, I would, I would put it more towards a light, but for many people, I think it might be a light medium body. I do start to feel some of the flavors now after a few more gulps getting to the the back of the mouth a little bit more um not really up into the cheeks area as much but definitely picking it up on the back of the tongue where now i'm getting some of that uh sweetness from the malts that funkiness that you get when you actually drink it where your nose is down in the glass it almost comes across to me kind of a, a soapy type funkness um nothing that affects the flavor but it's just kind of weird how it gets paired together but something like this a little bit stronger than what I would say a lawnmower beer would, would be. But I think it can definitely fill in there. Getting done some housework, cutting the grass, doing some stuff around the house. That you want a beer to just kick back and relax. 5.2%. I think it's not too bad to really slow you down. It's also a nice one to have. Sitting on the deck, this would be a nice one to have with um, burgers as well. Um, I think it would pair up very nicely and very easily with things like that. Or other type sandwiches something with like maybe some heavier meat involved but not too bad i do like the uh the back of it with the crisp refreshing break it doesn't have anything as far as astringency being too bad on it so it finishes up very nicely i think uh this one is actually a pretty solid one from uh christian Morline. again if you don't like hops though this may be one you want to kind of just sample before you actually try to take a full bottle and the glass does leave some nice lacing behind as well i don't know if this will be one that would actually go out and hunt down though so for me i'm actually gonna give this one a b minus i think it's solid if i have one 
that I would drink this or drink another one and enjoy the beer, but it's not going to be anything to take me out of my way. But I think anybody that gets a beer like this that likes pale ales will be pretty pleased. So there you have it for me. B minus on the Moorline Zeppelin. If you happen to have had this one, let me know. Put some comments in the comment section. Love to hear your feedback. Another good beer out of Cincinnati, Ohio, where I think we now have 25 breweries that are in play with some more planned to open throughout the uh, Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky, and also Southwest Indiana area. So if you get to come to this area, got a lot of beer, a lot of places you can see. So with that, I'm going to end it and say cheers. Appreciate you swinging by. Check out another video. Hopefully, I'll catch you on the next one. If you like what you saw, as always, please remember to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to stay up to speed, just hit the subscribe button and you'll be up to speed on all the videos when I release them. So, I'm going to say cheers. Look forward to seeing the next video. And keep drinking good craft beer. Cheers. <laughs>